Hi everyone! Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Rita with the Williamsburg Regional Library and today I'm wearing a witch's hat. And the reason why I'm wearing a witch's hat is because there's a very special holiday that's coming up on us in just a few days. Can you tell me what that is? That's right! Halloween! That's right! And so I thought today we would do some stories to help get us into the spirit of Halloween. But before we get started with our first story, please join me in a welcome story time song. So let's clap our hands. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with our friends it's story time. We clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with the friends it's story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with the friends it's story time, we stomp and sing hello. Okay, thank you guys for joining me in our story time welcome song. So our first story today is about a pumpkin that kind of gets a little out of hand and it's called The Runaway Pumpkin and it's by Kevin Lewis. The Runaway Pumpkin by Kevin Lewis. Once upon a hill when the wind blew with a chill wandered Buck and Billy Baxter with their baby sister Lil and there Upon that hillside, growing orange, fat, and fine, the budding Baxters found a pumpkin on a twisty, twirly vine. It was big, and it was round, and the boys, their eyes agleam, gave a whoop, a yell, a holler. No finer pumpkin had they seen, and today was Halloween. Yet Lil Lil was cautious, and, of course, she tried to warn them, but her bumbling, big-headed brothers snapped the pumpkin from its stem. And as she watched them roll it, at first real slow, but then much faster, Lil Lil looked down the hill, and she foresaw disaster. Round and round across the ground, making a thumpin', bumpin' sound, came that thumpity, bumpity, thumpin', bumpin', round and rolly, runaway pumpkin. A short way down the hillside, that zooming pumpkin caught the eye of mucking Mama Baxter, who thought of Granny's pumpkin pie. till it busted through her sty, Round and round across the ground, making a thumpin', bumpin' sound. Came that thumpity, bumpity, thumpin', bumpin', round and rolly, runaway pumpkin. A bit farther down the hillside, just beyond the chicken coop, Grandpa Baxter saw that pumpkin and thought of Granny's pumpkin soup. till it knocked him for a loop. Round and round across the ground, making a thumpin', bumpin' sound, came that thumpity, bumpity, thumpin', bumpin', round and rolly, runaway pumpkin. Now, at the bottom of that hillside, where the bounden pumpkin sped, Papa Baxter, on his tractor, thought of Granny's pumpkin bread. But Papa Baxter used his head and quickly plowed a pumpkin bed. So at the bottom of the hillside, fat and round upon the ground, that thumpin' bumpin' pumpkin plopped and didn't make another sound. And as pigs and hens and Baxters gathered round where Papa plowed, little Lil, she gathered Granny and pulled her through the waiting crowd. 
Buck and Billy looked really proud. Then thumpity, bumpity, thumpin', bumpin', straight to the kitchen went that pumpkin. And soon after came the smell of dear old Granny cooking something. Granny stirred and stewed and baked until the bright full moon rose up and all those hungry Baxters sat themselves right down to sup. And at the center of the table, among the soup and bread and pie, sat a grinning jack-o'-lantern with a twinkle in its eyes. The end. This next story is probably one of my very, very favorite books, and it's called Ghosts in the House by Kazuto Kuhara. Once there was a girl who went to live in a big old house at the edge of town. It was a splendid place, but there was one problem. The house was haunted. But the girl wasn't just a girl. She was a witch. She knew how to catch ghosts. How lovely, she said. I hope there are some more. And there were. She continued until she had caught all the ghosts in the house. Then she went to the kitchen and put them all in the washing machine. When they were clean, she hung them out on the clothesline. It was fine weather for drying. After drying, most of them came nice curtains. One of them made a good tablecloth. They were all very useful. The little witch began to feel very tired after her hard work. She knew just what to do with the last two ghosts. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. So I hope everyone enjoyed our story, Ghosts in the House. Before I read our final story, I thought I'd show you how you can build your own haunted house. And all you need to do is take your two fists and you're gonna build a haunted house with five bricks. One, two, three, four, five. Put a roof on top and a chimney too, where the ghosts fly through shouting, boo, boo, boo. Oh, I hope you like that little rhyme. So our last book for story time is called Click, Clack, Boo. Click, Clack, Boo. A Tricky Treat by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown does not like Halloween. Witches give him nightmares. Pirates give him shivers. Jack-o'-lanterns flicker spooky shadows on the wall. Farmer Brown leaves a bowl of candy on the porch. He puts up a do not disturb sign. He draws the shades and locks the door. But in the barn, the Halloween party has just begun. There is a crunch, crunch, crunching 
as the mice scurry across the field. There is a creak, creak, creaking as the sheep slowly push open the barn door. There is a tap, tap, tapping and the cows go to the window to let the cats in. Farmer Brown does not like the sounds of Halloween night. He checks the lock on the door. He peeks through the window. There's a dark creature standing beneath the trees. Farmer Brown runs to his room, pulls on his pajamas, and climbs under the covers. He hears the crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading toward the house. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old boards of the front porch. Then a tap, tap, tapping on the front door. Farmer Brown pulls up his covers tight. He hears a quack, quack, quackle in the crisp night air. Quackle? Farmer Brown jumps out of bed. The porch is empty. The candy bowl is gone. There is a new note on Farmer Brown's door. Halloween party at the barn. Farmer Brown runs to the barn. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old board of the front porch and a crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading towards the barn. There is a tap, tap, tapping on the window. Happy Halloween! Well, that's the end of our story time for today. I'm so glad you guys could join me and I hope you enjoyed all our stories. Be sure to come by the library anytime if you'd like to find these or other stories. We'd be happy to help you. But before we leave, how about we all say goodbye to one another with a goodbye song. Okay, so let's clap our hands. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With their friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With their friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. Happy Halloween, everybody. Goodbye. Till next time. <laughs>